Welcome along. Listen, because of his uh, collaboration with PepsiCo Team of Champions, we're now going to get the opportunity to speak to Javier Hernandez Chicharito, they call him. Uh, he is with us this evening. It's so good to have you with us live from Los Angeles, where you are making big waves over there. We'll get to that in a second and talk to you about MLS and everything that's going on for you right now. But just your thoughts on this game, because obviously you're a, a former Real Madrid man. How did you feel about that 1-1? What did you think of the performance? Thank you, guys. I think, uh, I mean, it was it was a difficult match for, for Real Madrid. Uh, I think Chelsea did pretty well. They have they have another chance as a part, a part of the goal that they weren't very ruthless. But I think, I mean, it's it's always kind of like a good result for the away team to, to get the, the, the away goal. But, but I mean, we're speaking about Real Madrid, you know, like nothing is impossible for them. And I think it's going to be an amazing uh, second leg over there. And I hope, and I hope obviously, that, that Real Madrid go through. Javier, obviously you scored one of the most tall goals in Champions League history for, for Real Madrid in the, the game against Atletico Madrid. Could you tell us a little bit, how do you live as a player the Champions League compared to other competitions when you are in that dressing room? Is there anything that it gives you high pop? Is there anything that you feel uh, so strong that it allows you to win 13 Champions League? What is the inside feeling in that dressing room? Oh, it's amazing. It's unbelievable. Playing always uh, at night those those champions league uh, nights are, are unbelievable no? and then i, ha I have the, the the fortune to to play with that share you know the real madrid in 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 a very important match speaking speaking of which and then against our our, our, our rivals our neighbors atletico madrid so i mean every time every time that you that you know you're going to play champions league uh, the anthem uh, how you prepare that 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 week i mean it's always a special, a special moment and a special feeling to be involved in, in my opinion, in, uh, in the most uh, competitive and, and, and amazing competition around the world, speaking of clubs. Javier, talking about your career right now, we know you're in the MLS with LA Galaxy. You've made a brilliant start to the season with the five goals in two games. Yeah. But how nice were the goals against Miami? With Phil Neville and David Beckham involved. <laughs> Manchester United history. <laughs> I mean, I, I I say hi to to David, but then straight after when the when the game finished, uh, someone touched my back, and when I turned, it was Phil. And I mean, I spent I spent a very good year with him when he was the the, the assistant manager of, of David Moyes in in Manchester. And of course, I knew him of uh, because of his brother and stuff. And he just hugged me, and he just said, "It's like he, he like like saying like." I, I cannot say straight away what I said because he said it in a bad word. But I just say, Phil, I'm, I'm so sorry, man, that it was you and it was David. I'm so sorry, but, but, but I had to, you know? <laughs> Speaking of your performances in, in MLS, it feels like you're single-handedly making the Galaxy likeable. And, and, you know, we see your interviews post-matches and, and they've gone viral and people are really responding to how authentic you are, how emotional you are, and how willing you are to share kind of real feelings yeah. in those moments. It, it feels like it's been just kind of a, a whirlwind of a couple of weeks for you. How have you lived them? I mean, I'm, I'm very grateful that, that people are taking a, a part of what I'm saying and not staying about only soccer that, that, that I've been telling a, a lot in interviews and with you as well in the past interview about vulnerability, about that, that we are humans, not that it doesn't matter how much fame, how much success, how much uh, goals, how much money you can have. We all are humans. We always go through a lot of stuff. We always need to, 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 to be very resilient, to get over obstacles, difficult periods of time. So, I mean, I'm just scoring goals and, and as well, a message that, that I've been saying always, of course, it's my, it's my position. It's something that, that, I, that I can help my team with, with scoring goals. But the, the credit is, is, is not only about Chicharito, it's about all my teammates, uh, the manager, the coaching staff, the owners, all the, the whole organization. So, I mean, it, it's been a very important and a very uh, happy start of the season for, for, for me and for all the Ga LA Galaxy organization. But this is just the start because we want to qualify to playoffs and then we want to, to, to win the, the, the championship. That is the most important goal for, for all of us. I think it's one of the things that's, that's making so many of us who are watching MLS really root for you and really fall in love with your personality and your character. But just to share something that went on before we actually went live with Javi, I, I listened to you talking to him in Spanish and you said, you're a player I would always have loved to have worked with and, and you know, watching you play makes me happy. Just share me your, your thoughts on, on who he is as a player. Well, I, th I think he knows, Javier knows, um, when he was in the Premier League, he formed one of the most wonderful partnerships, Wayne Rooney and, and Chicharito. And it's something that you will 
will play to kids, to young strikers that they want to play the game, how you move into space. We create this player that he always wants to come to the ball, you get attracted to the ball. Uh, Chicharito is a master of the movement in the box and he's just getting those two yards and spaces that you cannot find. And it's a wonderful, if anyone, I would encourage anyone to look on, on internet to find those clips, that relationship between Wayne Rooney and, and Javier Hernandez. I tried to sign him many times and he turned me down many others. So it's I'm just, expensive, is he? I'm just <laughs> delighted that um, they're not playing against <laughs> each other. Well, you never know, maybe if uh, Chicharito, I don't know if you close your doors to the national team, to Mexico, but... I would love to follow in Qatar 2022, but stay away from facing Belgium. It's a good question. You have to feel like you're moving closer, at least, don't you, to being considered to be called up for that Mexican national team again? We watch you playing MLS and we think what an impact you could make for that team. Do you think you've inched closer? I mean, I hope. I, I, I mentioned that before, that I haven't retired of the national team, so that means that, of course, I want to be available, but and, and Roberto, Jamie, and Micah knows that, that uh, that that starts from the player. You know, if you want a, a a spot in your national team, you need to start doing a, a very good job in your team, right? And I mean, thankfully, la, la, like I said it before, uh, these two games are being very good. But but as well, uh, they all they all know me, and this is not just a political correctness speech. It's, I, I truly feel it. It's just it's just two games. It's just the starting about it. Uh, if things come through about uh, if I'm going back to the national team, I'll be obviously amazing and happy. But right now, I'm just enjoying this 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 moment, this part of 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 the dream that I've been uh, involved with in the MLS and with my teammates and all of that stuff. And 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 to conclude about this question, I just I just want to say thank you to Roberto because yeah, I knew how how he 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 likes the way that I play. We talk. A few times that 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 story is true that he wanted me to go there it was quite complicated it wasn't about that that i didn't want to go because i always told him even in a call that i want to share that i said that a part of being a a, a player of, of sir alex ferguson that for me is the greatest manager of the world obviously it was it was good it would be very good for for me to to grow as a player and be managed for for a manager of roberto because we know his his qualities, his his capacities in every team, in the national team, how good he's he's been doing. So thank you, Roberto. And and yeah, unfortunately things didn't come come in that way. But yeah, we both enjoy uh, your work and my work. Still Chicanito, oh, how is the MLS league? <laughs> oh how is the MLS league? Because I see a lot of uh, players wanting to go there now. I'm hoping my time here in the UK is just. Uh, <laughs> A springboard for me eventually to come to America. <laughs> but tell me how, how is the how, how is the level over there? Tell me. Micah, honestly, and honestly, and I'm serious, and you can see interviews uh, uh, with uh, Thierry Henry, uh, Rafael Marquez, and, and 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 a lot of like world class and top players saying that honestly, the the, the level over here is much much better than how the world uh, uh, judge it in a way. It's it's more physical. It's harder. Uh, the the way that 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 the the USA players are improving the young kids. You, you can see the, the 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 USA national team like 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 today. You know you see Pulisic scoring a goal in the semifinals. Like like I mean this country has been is been improving so much. And I think uh, around around soccer or football world, it needs to be more more. They need to have more credit. Micah, because they're being in this business for only 25, 26 years, man. And all the improvement that they have been, it's, it's amazing. So I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful that they saw the, in me that I can come to this league and improve it in, in any way inside and outside the pitch. So the only thing that I need to do, Micah, is just uh, make uh, nightmares to the defenders over here, try to do my best, try to do, uh, uh, yeah, show the best version of Chicharito in every game. In every interview, in every way, I just want to be me, show that. And obviously with words and with performances that this league, it's it's much better than, than a lot of people think. Just whilst we're talking about Micah moving that way and going over to that side of the pond, I'm wondering how you feel about, about TV, Javi, because there's a couple of spots that we're considering kind of moving things around on this desk, maybe not renewing a couple of contracts, and, and you would be an, a wonderful addition to the team. Roberto's already on board. I'm on board. What, what do you think? Hold on, hold on, hold on. My contract's already signed. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me, baby. Well, I'm hearing that things can 
still be moved. Apparently, there's some room for flexibility, Mike. <laughs> Abby, what do you say? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I would love. To. I mean, I honestly, honestly, I see it still far, uh, but but yeah, I just uh, as you can see, I I I think I I speak a little bit uh, too much, probably. So, I mean, it, it wouldn't be a bad idea for me in the future. <laughs> we would love it. We would love to have you. Uh, just one thing before Thank you do you go, we do have to ask you about uh, yes. the fact that you're joining up with Team of Champions, which you've of partnered with Pepsi and Lays, and, and they do really great work. It's a national program in the United States which works towards yes. making soccer more available to underserved communities. Why were you passionate about joining up with them and what will your role be? Just tell us about that. Yeah, of course. I want I, I want to to join, uh, for example, this answer with we were speaking about about with 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 Micah uh, about the level of MLS and stuff. I mean, I I I couldn't turn down this opportunity to to work with PepsiCo when 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 the 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 clear message was opportunities, right? Opportunities create more and better opportunities to to black communities, to Hispanic communities around around this lovely country, and try to. To, to to like put this this soccer culture more more, more in the head of of, of of this country you know because they're they're very 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 well organized in other sports and and, and like I said this sport is being only 25 26 years uh, from here so what what PepsiCo is doing and and the day uh, take the opportunity to see in me that I can uh, help a lot of young players to to develop that talent to play and try to to achieve the dreams for me, I'm, I'm just very grateful, very passionate about it. And, and yeah, I think Pepsi is doing an amazing job to create all of those opportunities uh, with, with this project. Good stuff. Thank you for sharing. Listen, it's always so good to see you.